In Israel's north, continuous Hezbollah rocket fire has targeted northern communities with sirens sounding throughout the day with a direct hit to a community center building in the western Galilee, injuring at least 14 men, some in critical condition. In Gaza, one soldier was severely wounded in the northern Gaza Strip. All of these military updates are in the following report. In the latest rocket barrage fired by Hezbollah into northern Israel today, one rocket made a direct hit in the western Galil, hitting a community center building and injuring at least 14 men, with three initially reported in critical condition. In a separate incident, Mata added that a man was critically injured when his car was hit by a Hezbollah drone. This story is developing as sirens are going off continuously. Additionally, in yesterday's reported IDF strike in southern Lebanon, the target was identified as Ismail Yousaf Baz, the commander of Hezbollah's coastal sector. Another top Hezbollah commander was eliminated, this time in the area of Kfaldunin. When an IDF aircraft struck and eliminated the terrorist Muhammad Hussein Mustafa Seshori, Muhammad was the commander of the rocket and missiles unit of Hezbollah's Radwan forces in Lebanon's central and western region. These targeted strikes come just after the terror group launched drones into Israeli territory, injuring three people when they exploded near Bet Hillel yesterday. So far, the skirmishes on the northern border have resulted in at least eight civilian deaths on the Israeli side, as well as the death of 10 IDF soldiers and reservists while Hezbollah has named 278 members who have been killed by Israel in these clashes. In Gaza, a combat soldier from the Shaldag Special Forces Unit was severely wounded in the northern Gaza Strip in a pinpoint operation conducted in Beit Hanun. The soldier was evacuated to the nearest hospital for further treatment. The 162nd Division is continuing to operate in the central Gaza Strip. At the request of the division, the IDF Air Force eliminated a number of terrorists and destroyed terrorist infrastructure. One of the strikes was on a terrorist cell operating an armed drone toward IDF troops in the area. An IDF aircraft struck the terrorists. IAF aircraft also struck a number of rocket launchers that were ready to be launched toward Israeli territory. Palestinian health officials said an Israeli strike killed four people and wounded several others in Rafah, where over half of Gaza's 2.3 million people are sheltering, and bracing for a planned Israeli ground offensive into the city, which borders Egypt. Humanitarian aid is still entering the Gaza Strip consistently. On Wednesday, Kojat released a video depicting over 700 aid trucks sitting at the Karim Shalom crossing, waiting for UN agency pickup. Kojat also confirmed that as of Tuesday evening, 376 humanitarian aid trucks were inspected and transferred to Gaza, out of which 105 trucks were transferred via the Jordanian route. Despite recent criticism, Kojat has been efficiently posting on X photo documentation of aid entering the Gaza Strip and Gazan markets full of necessary food items.